Hi, this is Jaya. In this video, we shall see the summary of Horses, a poem by Edwin Muir. Edwin Muir has also written another poem under the title The Horses. Now we are going to see the summary of Horses by written by him. This is a contemplative and nostalgic poem and it explores his fascination with horses as the horses work in the fields. The poem delves into the horse's powerful and enigmatic presence and it evokes a sense of magic and awe. Through vivid imagery and vivid descriptions, the poem captures the horse's significance as the horses transform the landscape and create a mystical atmosphere. Ultimately, it reflects on the fleeting nature of these captivating moments and the longing for the return to a mysterious and haunting beautiful world. He observes horses laboring in the ploughed fields and wonders why they suddenly appear terrifying and unfamiliar. The horses possess an aura of wildness and strangeness akin to possessing magical power over the barren landscape. He suggests that this perception may be linked to a childhood memory, possibly of watching the horses in a storm. The horses' hooves resembling pistons in an ancient meal, mill move up and down in a rhythmic motion that appear both dynamic and static as if they are simultaneously in motion and standing still. The horses' powerful hooves which trampled the stubble in the fields symbolize a ritual that turned the land to brown. Their immense bodies are likened to seraphims who are angelic beings made of gold or silent extract mon money monsters on the earth. He expresses the joy and awe experienced as the horses completed a furrow and marched confidently towards the setting sun. The light reflects off their muscular sides in patches while the furrows behind them appear to writhe like struggling snails. When the horses return home at dusk, their steaming nostrils and giant forms make them seem even more enormous in the dim light. They emit a mysterious glowing fire that illuminates their smoldering bodies in the mud. The horses' eyes shine brightly and seem as vast and dark as the night itself. They possess a cruel, apocalyptic light foretelling of impending doom. Their manes caught in the furry of the wind rise with an invisible and blind rage. The vivid image of the horses gradually fades away, leaving him in a state of longing. They yearn for the return to a pristine and ominous land where empty fields and solitary trees held a profound presence of brightness and fear. The poem Horses portrays his fascination with the horse's power and mystery, the ability to transform the landscape and the transient nature of these awe inspiring moments. The poem combines vivid descriptions and vivid imagery to evoke a sense of wonder and longing for a world that both captivates and frightens. Now let's read the poem. Horses. Those slumbering horses in the steady plough, on the bare field, I wonder why just now they seemed terrible, so wild and strange, like magic power on the stony grage. Perhaps some childish horror has come again when I watched fearful through the blackening rain. They hoofs like pistons in an ancient mill move up and down yet seem as standing still. They conquering hoofs with trot the stubble down where ritual that turned the field to brown and they great hulks where serapins of gold or mute extra monsters on the mould. And oh, the rapture, when one furrow done, they marched broad-breasted to the sinking sun. The light flowed off their bossy sides in flakes. The furrows rolled behind like struggling snakes. But when at dusk, with steaming nostrils home they came, they seemed gigantic in the gloom and warm and glowing with mysterious fire that lit their smoldering bodies in the mirror. They bright as brilliant and as wide as night, gleamed with a cruel apocalyptic light. They manes the leaping ire of the wind, lifted with rage, invisible and blind. And ah, now it fades, it fades, and I must pine again from the dread country crystalline, where the blank field and the standing and the still standing tree were bright and fearful presences to me. 
this is a poem it's a beautiful poem by him if you have anything more to add on to what i've said please write it in the comment box like the video share it with your friends and if you're not subscribe my channel please subscribe and support thank you